All right, guys, so we're here at Outdoor Retailer 2017. We're in the Jackson Kayak and Blue Sky Boatworks booth. This is Marty Cronin. He's going to walk us through this new Blue Sky Boatworks 360 Angler. Correct. A lot of hype around this thing. It's not really a kayak. They're not calling it a kayak, but I think it's looking pretty sweet. So, Marty, why don't you kind of give us a bow to stern walkthrough? But before that, why don't you tell us a little bit about kind of the idea and where it came from? And sure. Um, the whole idea with the Blue Sky, ang uh, the Blue Sky Boatworks 360 Angler is that we're really trying to hit a market that really addresses the fishermen. Kayak fishing has done a great job of cracking into addressing what fishermen's needs would be, and I think it's doing a great job of bringing up fishermen into the market. But as you're going to see when we go through this boat here right now, this is really tailored very much for the fishermen. It's looking for a personal watercraft to be able to get on the water. Sweet. So we'll kind of start with the. Uh the deck features, then we'll talk a little bit about the performance, and uh, yeah, Marty, what do we got? Okay, so we'll start off with the front here. As you're going to see, we're going to have the flex drive system that is Jackson Kayak's flex drive. It's our pedal drive system. In the near future, it will also have an electric motor that will be able to be swapped out for this, and it is a very, very cool system. First off, it has the ability to be retracted and brought back up so you can drive this right onto shore and you never actually have to pull any type of system out of the water. It really is really slick. You can literally drive right onto shore, not have to worry about anything. Rocks, logs that might be in the water, any types of you know obstructions of whatever sort, and you're good to go. Yeah, so super slick. I saw that video of Jameson Redding. He like ran into a giant log right under the water with this drive ran right over it and just kept on going. I mean, like, didn't even slow him down, really. So it's nice not having to worry about doing anything with the drive, pulling it up. If you don't have to, you know, don't have the time, that's slick, man. One of the most important features about the flexible drive shaft is there's no gears, there's no uh, bearings, there's nothing that's that needs any level of maintenance that's under the waterline. Everything is above the waterline, and what this does is it allows you to never have to, you know, worry about getting salt in your in, in your bearings, and then you're pretty much shot. It's going to be important for saltwater anglers, for sure. So I'll go through some features here starting kind of from the front we have what's called the front porch the front porch is really designed being able to bring your dog along with you everyone over at Jackson Kayak and Blue Sky Boat Works is very serious about dogs on top of that if you don't have your dog with you you're gonna be able to walk on all 34 square feet of usable deck space that you can walk on every piece of it on the production versions of these we will have access to these outriggers so you can actually get through to a hatch and you can put all your rods and reels into the actual outriggers themselves you can also put your battery inside of there. You can put tons of overnight gear if you're doing any types of camping trips. So that's killer, like the fact that you got 34 feet of usable space, and then in addition, you've got in hole storage. I mean, like, nobody offers that kind of versatility. 13 feet's plenty for even the biggest rods, even surf rods. I mean, that just, this is like an eight day river trip or eight day lake trip, or I mean, you could camp out of this thing, all kinds of stuff. That's killer. Robert, you're absolutely right. And the, and the whole idea of being able to bring a full size cooler along with you, this thing is absolutely going to hold our some of our largest coolers. An 85 quart cooler is going to fit perfectly there. Uh, so we talked about the drive. Why don't you talk about the seat some, man? The seat is slick. The name 360 actually has everything to do with the functionality of the seat itself. It does rotate in a full 360 degree fashion. The seat is fully adjustable. It does up and down. I think it's got an eight inch throw uh, between its lowest position and its highest position. And I believe it has a seven inch fore and aft capability to go back and forth. The ability to sit up really high just gives you such an advantage of seat structure. Yeah, well, I feel like, you know, as our sports progress, it's definitely trended towards stability being the priority, not really speed. I always tell people, like, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just go get a bass boat. You know, like, I'm, I want to be comfortable and stable all day. And if that's allowed for these higher and higher seats, but this is truly like the yeah. next level. I mean, this is extremely high up, like sight fishing, sight casting, there's gonna be money for that. Robert, I would say, this sounds a little silly, but in all honesty, I don't think you can flip this over. I mean, we had two people over 220 pounds each standing on one pontoon. It's, it's really a different level of stability than you can get from the bottom wall. Well, I think there's a lot of guys, you know, especially bigger guys, but I mean, just guys in general that don't have any experience in a kite, that are kind of nervous, you know, they're worried about tipping over. Like, this is gonna be perfect for those guys that just don't want it to worry about it. They don't want to worry about shifting their center of gravity. Just get on it, go, and just not stress about it all day. And the catamaran style really goes fast. I mean, I can tell you, minimal surface area that you're trying to push through the water, and it's just very fast. It's, it's surprised the heck out of me. I don't even think about that. You've got all this deck space, but it's not in the water, so it's not creating drag. You've just got these two skinny, streamlined pontoons. That's correct. That makes a lot of sense. 
So one of the key things about this, I kind of refer to it as the uh, bones of the structure, is really just the outriggers themselves and an aluminum frame. What's key about this is that all the different decks that you can design can be accommodating for anything from people that are really into bird watching, want to bring a tripod along, folks that are into potentially bow fishing. We'll have a recreational build for this. We'll have a very serious fi uh, fishing build, which is what you'll see when we go through most of this. But and also think about the fact that we can come up with a real tree pattern to be able to come up with a really serious hunting version. And you can have a duck blind with this. The accessories that come along with this are amazing. A sun chain that comes over the, the paddler. This is slick, man. I noticed that it's got tracking all on the boats. You can rig out all your favorite accessories. If you already have a kayak, it's already rigged out. You'll be able to bring that stuff over and throw it right on this thing. Uh, it's got steering on both sides next to the seat, you said? There's a rudder on each of the outriggers. Oh, nice. So you get really quick, very fast turning radius, but it's controlled right here from your seat, and you have one on each side. Nice. I like that, because you know, some guys are right-handed, some guys are left-handed. Like, give them the option. It just makes a lot of sense. The ability to swing the seat around yeah. and fish off behind you is right. something that's very difficult to do in a, in a kayak. What's perfect is you could be, like, drifting in a wind, drifting a bank, or drifting a flat, or drifting whatever, and, like, without ever having to worry about your boat's position, just swivel around, cast this way, oh, I see some over there, like, without having to even touch anything else. And just like you said, it's really for the angler. You can focus on fishing, not have to worry so much about your boat management. So, that's right. That's, that's slick, thing. man. Now, this boat will be able to uh, maintain both a gas engine, an electric engine, and it does come stock with the pedal drive system. But the ability to put a five-horsepower engine on this thing, and the speed of which it has is going water. to be a really good mix, and I'll be quite honest with you, I'm looking forward to having fun with that myself. What's exciting about this, man, because it's such a stable platform, it's like, this would work well offshore, in lakes, so big water, small water. Yeah. Right now, it's sitting with like probably a two and a half inch deep uh, draft, so meaning wow. once you get into certainly very shallow water, especially if you're going after redfish, and right. it's really That's cool what I was shallow, about. Yeah. you'll be able to uh, yeah. utilize now, pull out your stand-up paddle. Yep. Or a poke ball. Or a pushing ball, yeah. Yep. That's killer, man. And again, when you're fishing with those fish, especially that skinny water, you're side casting. So be able to stand up, have it comfortable, all that. It's going to be money, man. Really fired up. Well, let me take you through a couple of features here. Absolutely. All right. Okay, so one of the key features about this is how easy it is to get in and out of the water. You will come with the wheels that you'll see here. These wheels are, when you're on the water, you mount them at basically like a three o'clock position running parallel to the outrigger itself. When you want to take the boat out, you just literally pull the uh, wheel off, slide it into the six o'clock position, and now you're ready to grab the handle and walk right up the boat ramp. Um, as far as how do you really transport this, we recommend that you either transport it via a trailer or it is designed to fit within the bed of a truck. And also, I think you mentioned that you're able to disassemble this thing if you really needed to. He said basically with a few pops of these little buttons here, you can take this whole deck apart and the two pontoons come apart. So if you've even got a smaller vehicle, he said in about three, five minutes, you can have this whole thing disassembled, put it into your SUV or whatever if you really needed to. So it's nice that I you watched, have that option. I, I, although I have not done it personally, I watched a person literally take the, the two outriggers out and load the deck in less than four minutes. Wow. But yeah, no tools required. That's Correct. key, man. And so when I first saw this thing online, before I came here and saw it in person, I saw, you know, it looked big and I thought, you know, like this thing is going to be unwieldy. You're going to have to have a trailer and like back it into the water but I did not know about these kind of built-in wheels and it's 120 pounds right yeah. 120 pounds is super reasonable I mean there's a lot of kayaks out there that weigh more than that so really at 120 pounds I mean you know you're probably not gonna be slinging this thing up on your shoulder but you can easily I mean, just about anyone can easily drag that on these wheels so really a lot more manageable than I was expecting before I saw it in person that's impressive so I noticed you got a really good spot you can mount a power pole um, is that the same place you would mount the motor if you were putting correct it? we're likely gonna make this a bit wider so it can house both a power pole and a uh, gas or an electric engine uh, smart. The back. All right, guys, so this thing looks extremely sweet. I mean, just something totally different. That's what's so fresh about this, uh, refreshing, I guess, about this, is that it's a totally unique design. Um, 120 pounds, so really manageable. And uh, what are we looking at for a price point when this thing comes out? At this point, we're aiming for somewhere around $3,500. So super reasonable. I mean, you know, you're getting a ton of boat for that price, and that'll come with the pedal drive, and then you'll sell the motor kind of that'll replacement ex extra, correct. right? Correct. So we're looking around $3,500. It may change a little bit. This is still a prototype. Type. So uh, this one's actually hand built. So some things may change, may change the price a little bit. And then March of 2018 is when you expect to see these hidden dealers. Uh, dude, Marty, this is slick and exciting, and like I said, refreshing to see something new come to market, man. Appreciate you taking the time. Really appreciate you coming by. Thank you. You gotta get in one of these things.